Hello, you're watching the SimHanger channel. My name's Mark, the SimHanger for all things flight sim related. In this video, we're going to be configuring the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant, and that'll let you fly any of the props in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you're looking for information on the jets, then catch my configuration guide, Bravo Throttle Quadrant, configuring the jets. It covers both two and four engine setup and reverse thrusters. If you're looking for more information, then look up my review of the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. And if you're wondering how to get the lights on the Bravo Throttle Quadrant, I've done a config guide. Links to all these are in the notes below. Once in Microsoft Flight Simulator, we want to go to the Options menu and then to Controls. This is our main configurator for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Make sure we're on the Bravo Throttle Quadrant and the profile is set at default. We want the default profile as it contains all the basic mappings and in addition, if you've installed the driver for the lights, it'll have that config as well. One quick point to note is the default profile has an error in it that Throttle 2 is not working. In addition, there's a number of recommended changes to the light configuration, which you may want to sort out before creating new profiles. To do this, check out this video, links in the notes below. It should also be noted that the default profile is Twin Engine Prop. Before creating any new profiles, you may find it useful to see what the mappings are in default. I can search by input by clicking in the box and moving an axis. Here I've moved throttle number one. My filter is set to assigned. Let's try another one. I've clicked in the box again and this time moving mixture number one and the mapping configuration is shown. There are other ways to search. I'm going to search by name and again leaving my filter under assigned and I'm going to type in throttle. Note as soon as I enter text in the box the filter changes to wall. I'll change it back to assigned and here I can see I've got throttle 1 and 2 axis as well as throttle 1 and throttle 2 decrease. The other way to do a quick search in terms of the mapping is to change the filter to assigned and then expand all. With the filter being under assigned, we can now see every axis and button that has been assigned under the default profile. Now that we're more familiar with the default profile and the search options, let's prepare ourselves for building new profiles. For those of you with the honeycomb yoke, you will also need to reconfigure the seven toggle switches on the Bravo throttle quadrant, as by default they are also configured to the light switches and therefore will conflict with the yoke settings. Within Microsoft Flight Simulator, the default profile for the various controllers cannot be overwritten. This is a safety feature. The way to create another profile is to go to Preset Manager and then hit on Duplicate. It'll then ask you to name your profile. And of course you can name it anything that suits you. In my case I'm going to call it Bravo Throttle Quadrant Template. And the reason I've done this is I'm going to use this as the template for building new profiles. I'm going to put in the Throttle 2 fix and as I have the Honeycomb yoke I'm going to reconfigure the toggle switches. This will save me lots of time in the future. Click OK to save the new profile. I've reconfigured the switches and put in all the fixes. Make sure you save and apply after making any changes. Depending on what and how you fly, everybody will have their own preference for the switches. I've set mine up as indicated. Setting the switches can be a little confusing at first. That is because both on and off positions are treated and mapped separately. So for example, cabin lights on is 36 and cabin lights off is 37. And it's easy to map them the wrong way round. Our first configuration is effectively done the twin engine prop because that's my template. So from the preset manager I'm going to choose duplicate and I'm going to rename the file. Give it a name that's easy for you to identify. In my case I'm going to use twin prop tpm. So I know it's a twin engine prop aircraft and it has throttle, prop and mixture, thus tpm. Once you've renamed your file, click OK. And we see that the Bravo Throttle Quadrant Profile is now Twin Prop TPM. Make sure you apply and save. And now let's pop into the Beechcraft Baron Twin Engine and see if everything's working as it should. 
First of all, I'm going to test the throttle for engine number one and then number two. That's working fine. Now the props one and two, they're responding exactly as they should. Now mixture number one, that's also working fine. And now for mixture number two, I'm going to pull it right back and cut the engine and see whether or not that works as it should. And the prop should slow and come to a stop. Let's now set up a single engine with throttle, prop and mixture. Go to Preset Manager. We're going to duplicate the twin prop profile and it's going to ask us to rename it. I'm going to follow the same format. I'm going to call it Single Prop TPM. Once you've renamed it, hit OK. I now need to reconfigure the throttle quadrant to represent the new profile. So I'm basically getting rid of engine 2, removing throttle 2, prop 2 and mixture 2. I prefer this configuration just the way it is with the space between the levers. You could of course just move the levers closer together if you prefer, so prop would go on to throttle 2 and mixture would go on to prop 1 and configure the axis accordingly. For those axes I'm not using, I'm pulling the axis into the detent and putting the rubber covers on. Let's now configure the profile in the sim. With our filter on assigned, let's collapse all and then go to power management and mixture. We don't need a mixture too. To delete it, let's click on the box and then clear current input and validate and it's gone. We also need to delete decrease mixture too. So we'll follow the same process, clear the current input and validate. Now we've only got one mixture lever. Let's quickly test this by moving the axis. By pushing the lever into the detent position, we see joystick button 28 is highlighted. Mixture's done. Let's go on to the prop and we're going to delete propeller 2 axis and toggle feather switch 2. Delete current input and validate. Now let's get rid of the feather switch. That's done and now we can test it. Move the prop lever, that's fine, and into the detent, that's working as well. And now finally onto the throttle, and again we're looking to delete throttle too. Click on the binding, clear current input and validate, and we're also going to delete the throttle to decrease. And once again we can test it as we have with the other axes. Axis is working fine and the detent is registering. All the other mappings and bindings will be exactly the same as per the twin engine and per the template. We're done, so apply and save and then let's jump back into the sim and give it a test in the Cessna Caravan. Firstly, checking the throttles working, and that seems to be working fine. Let's just test it in reverse. That's working great. Pull it back to idle by giving it a little nudge, and now the prop. Prop lever is working fine, and now we'll test the mixture. Again, that's working as it is, and we'll cut the engine and make sure that it's working as intended. That's correctly configured, so let's move on and get on with the next configuration. A common configuration in these smaller GA aircraft is throttle and mixture, but no propeller lever. So I've reconfigured my Bravo throttle quadrant mixture now where the prop lever was. So let's now set up another profile to Preset Manager and we're going to duplicate the Single Prop TPM profile. That'll be our starting point. And I'm going to call this one Single Prop TM for throttle and mixture. Click OK and we can start to configure. With our filter on assigned, we're going to Propeller 1 axis and we're going to delete that. Clear Current Input and Validate and also the Toggle Feather Switch 1. Clear that as well. Let's now configure the mixture lever to the new axis. So we click on the binding in the box. We don't need to clear it, we're going to overwrite it. Click in the box for scanning, then move the axis till it sees it, then validate. And we'll need to do the same for the decrease mixture 1. That's the position past the detent. We'll overwrite that. Into the detent, it picks it up and we'll validate. Our mixture is now configured to the new axis. 
and we can give it a quick test to make sure that it's working as intended. We can also check our throttle one axis, but we haven't touched it, so there should be no change there. That's all looking good. And that's it. We have now reconfigured for a simpler aircraft. All we need to do now is apply and save, and let's test it out in the Cessna 172. We'll just do a quick check on the mixture axis and also on the throttle axis, but everything seems to be operating just as expected. Whoops, nearly cut the engine there. Apologies to anybody listening with headphones on. The three configurations we've covered so far will cover the vast majority of aircraft. But there's one Microsoft Flight Simulator default aircraft that we need to look at separately. The TBM 930. This aircraft only has one lever, but it's a bit like a gear stick and can be moved to different positions to carry out different functions. We'll start with our single prop throttle and mixture profile. As our base template, and we'll go to Preset Manager and we'll duplicate and give it another name. As it's specific to the TBM 930, we'll call this profile TBM 930. No shocks there. Press OK and we can start configuring. The TBM 930 doesn't have a mixture lever, so we'll delete that to start off with, as it will interfere with the correct function of the aircraft and fuel system. So we're deleting mixture 1 axis and we're validating that and also decrease mixture 1. Clear current input and validate again. We're going to be replacing the mixture lever with a prop lever. Change the filter to all, then collapse the menus and then go to power management and then propeller. And we're looking for propeller one axis. So on the throttle quadrant, the mixture lever comes off and the propeller lever is put on. Now let's bind that axis to propeller one axis. You know the drill by now, we click on the binding and then the scanning box and move the axis till it registers and then validate. That's all done. In this case, don't configure the feather switch to the range past the detent. Leave that blank and unconfigured for best results with the TBM. We can now test our bindings. One point to note in this configuration is the propeller one axis has not been reversed. The propeller axis moves the gear lever into the feather position. If you reverse the axis, just move it out of the detent and it will carry out the function. Don't tick the reverse box and you need to move the propeller lever through its full range. Try both, it's just a matter of personal preference. Let's save our changes and jump back into the sim. We'll test the throttle range initially, full power, then we'll pull it all the way back to taxi or idle. And now into reverse. That's all working as expected. Let's now have a look at the function that the prop lever will carry out in the TBM 930. With the axis not reversed, I move it out of detent and nothing happens. As I push the propeller lever on the quadrant in the cockpit, you'll see the power lever has now moved across to the right hand side to the feather position. Take it back down and it moves back into the power position. If you reverse the axis, then just moving the prop lever out of the detent will carry out the same function. Both work just fine. Once the power lever is in the feather position, to cut the engine you use the throttle and pull it back into the detent position, which is throttle 1 decrease. This cuts off the fuel and your engine will come to a stop. The configurations we've covered today will cover most aircraft. There are a number of other variants in the default aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's quite a few that just use a throttle, for example, such as a number of the Diamond aircraft and the Icon A5. But for these, you can either make a bespoke profile or just use the TM profile and ignore the mixture. So what's your favorite prop aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator? I've got two, the Beach Baron. And for bush flying, it's a Zin Shock Ultra. Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'll see you all again soon. Take care and 
Bye for now.